Notre Dame 41, Syracuse 24. And, of course, when you get a... Da, 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 pull up the stats here. There we go, zone six. Uh, 19 wins in a row. Yeah, it was a long time for Cincinnati. Notre Dame... Had 74 plays to only 61 for Syracuse. They only had one turnover. Syracuse had two. And this game, you knew what it was going to be like when Garrett Schrader threw a pick six on the first play of the game. Garrett Schrader did get knocked out, and Del Rio had to come in in the second half. Um, it, Notre Dame just dominated this ball game. Uh, 80 more yards total. Uh, had 22 first downs to only 15. You know, they won yards per play. They won yards per rush. They won PPA per play significantly. Um, yeah, standard down success, passing down success. Like, it, Syracuse could not stop them from running the football. And we're going to pull up those stats. Uh, look, I mean, they, they had 246 yards rushing on 56 carries. Uh, the two running backs had 40 carries for over 200 yards. It was awesome. Absolutely awesome. Um I don't even know what to say about this. Del Rio Wilson is the the quarterback came in. Looked pretty good, actually. 11 out of 22 passing, 190 yards, one touchdown, one pick. He was all right. Uh, Sean Tucker, you know, they, they certainly fed him the ball more when they didn't do it against Clemson last week. 16 carries, 60 yards. They, uh, they gave him four catches for 32 yards there. Syracuse, I don't think, is a bad team. But I do think that they were not ready for this matchup. I mean, it was a bit of a letdown spot. Notre Dame, I don't know what to think about Notre Dame. Maybe you guys can help me out with this. It, Notre Dame makes no sense. Some weeks, they're really good. Some weeks, they're not. Drew Pine didn't have to be good in this game at all. He was a 9 out of 19 for 116 yards. But when you run the ball like that, yeah. 82 Atlantic said Syracuse and Kansas were fool's gold. I don't know that they were fool's gold because we always knew exactly what they were. They're not overly talented, but they're they're not they're not a great football team, but they are good enough to beat anybody on a down day, right? And Clemson had a down day last week, and it was coming off of you know four pretty big games in a row. Sleepy noon kickoff. Yeah, in this situation, Syracuse at home, sleepy noon kickoff. They thought they could compete with Clemson. So, of course, Notre Dame, who has gotten beat by Marshall and whoever. I had somebody uh, text me last night and say, hey, why is Notre Dame so much better on the road than they are at home? And that's a very interesting question. I don't know that. <laughs> I don't know the answer to that. Uh, but they seem to be doing much better when they go on the road as opposed to when they're playing at home. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.